When working with stretchy fabrics, you'll find stitch number four on the Singer Elite CE677 is the perfect stretch stitch. So you notice that number one, it is a stitch on the original keypad. That means it's pretty important. They put it as the fourth most important stitch on this machine. So I wanna show you how this works and where you're gonna use it. To start, select stitch number four and notice that it wants the standard presser foot and then leave everything else the same. So this stitch is gonna allow for the stretch of the fabric once it's sewn to continue to have the stretch. If you just use a straight stitch, well, you go to stretch it and it will pop those stitches. So you need almost like in a little accordion type stitch and that's why sometimes I even kind of call it a lightning bolt stitch because that's kind of how it's going to stitch just really small and tight but up and down up and down you could also use a zigzag that you've reduced very narrow and very short but ideally this is the stitch you want to pick now if your fabric comes out wavy when it's done you might select to put a walking foot on or even come up to the top part of the machine right here where you can adjust the pressure of the foot. When the foot comes down on the fabric, the pressure will sometimes stretch the fabric out. If you take this to a smaller number, the foot doesn't sit as firm on the fabric. So let's just go ahead and sew. If you are working with fabric that has lycra in it or a very elastic-y, stretchy fabric, you are gonna need a stretch needle. Something like this, a ballpoint needle would be ideal. Just It's just a traditional knit. So go ahead and sew your seam. Now, you notice that this does take a little time to sew, yes, but if you had a serger, that would be where things would get a lot easier for working with stretchy fabrics. It's just, it saves time, it, it really works well. But here is what you're gonna look for. You have a stitch that now stretches with the fabric and it's all sewn together. So this is a one and done seam and you can get it exactly to be a construction seam plus have the stretch that you need. So for example, you can put it over your head, it stretches and then comes back. You have a stretch no matter which way you're wearing the fabric. So just know the stretch stitch number four is the best one and go ahead and try it out so you know what to expect and know that it's in your machine. When you are done, check out all of our other videos that we have done on this Singer machine. If you have a different model, it's okay. A lot of Singer machines have similar stitches and feet and techniques that are all done this similar way. So we've got a link to the playlist in the description below. And don't forget to give this video a like so we can continue to bring you more videos on more machines in the future.